Well, when Minnesota schools closed back in March and went to distance learning, it was a big adjustment for everyone, including teachers who were forced to change their entire teaching method in just days. And now, with COVID-19 cases on the rise again and more schools switching to distance learning, teachers are once again adapting. ABC 6 News Good Morning reporter Samantha Boring spoke with a local history teacher about how he's, how he's trying out new things to reach his students. This is Jeff Fagg's 30th year of teaching, and years ago he decided he needed to find a way to teach U.S. history in a different way. And he does it simply by telling stories. Telling the stories of the United States started out when Mr. Fagg asked a question, not to his students, but to their parents. How many of you liked history when you were a student? He asked that question on the bus while he was a chaperone for a Washington, D.C. trip. And only a handful of them raised their hands. And when I ask them why, they say, because it's so boring, you have to remember dates and times. So from there he thought, how can I change this? There's such great stories out there, and I thought, if I can focus in on that, maybe I can get the kids and the, and the parents hooked on history. Mr. Fagg teaches 7th grade United States history, and will tell stories in the story chair for his students, something the kids love. Do you want to finish with a story? And they all went, yeah. And um, just to see that look in their face, that they want to hear it, that makes this job all the worthwhile. Historians are great at putting together pieces of history to tell the story. Well, one of the reasons I like to do this is it shows the kids that I love to learn. And I want them to leave my class. Maybe they don't like history, but if they love to learn, then I've done my job. This fall, Mr. Fagg heard his kids and students talk about TikTok. Well, I could probably put on a, a video there, although I didn't realize you had to limit it to one minute. That's hard for me. Under the Constitution, the president can only serve during four years. Taking my knowledge and trying to share it a different way, and um, it's challenging and it's fun for me. From there, he's put his stories on TikTok and YouTube for current and former students and parents to listen to. Even being a, I'm just going to say a veteran teacher, it's fun to know there's different ways and there's more learning that goes on, especially this year. During four years was all Polk could serve. If we all continue to strive to learn new things about things that maybe we're not comfortable with at first, uh, how much we grow. Striving to keep teaching history in a way that students and parents can remember and enjoy. Well, Mr. Fagg says he, the way he chooses his stories is by a few things. He follows along with what they're learning in class with what he posts. Then if the students seem to enjoy the story, he decides whether or not to make a TikTok. Back to you. Oh, so fun. I no. love his calm demeanor too. He that would be is. very soothing as a student, I think. Yeah, and I, my son, uh, Aiden, happens to be lucky enough to have Mr. Fagg as a oh, history I'm teacher. Oh, I'm jealous. And so he, he really is. He's a great teacher, and all the kids just, if you had Mr. Fagg, it's like, oh, that's so, no yes. fair, you got Mr. Fagg that year. That's so, so fun. So Storytelling cool. is the best. For sure.